welcome back to my channel. Make sure to subscribe and hit the like button to see the weekly videos that I am posting. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can make a DIY bow holder for a little girl's room. Everything for this DIY is from Walmart and it was for $20 or less depending on what you already have on hand at home. I was originally inspired by a bow holder on Pinterest and I believe that you could buy it on Etsy, but when I clicked on Etsy, the bow holder was very expensive, like over $50 expensive, and I just do not want to spend money on that. So I thought, what if I can make this myself? So I had kind of been brainstorming the idea on how to make this. And I was at Walmart this weekend and I saw the item that I knew I could make this. So I found a wooden palette at Walmart. This is the final product. The palette comes in like a dark rustic brown. And then this is like the gray, like whitewash brown. And all I did was buy stencils and I painted on her name with a flower. I added on two hooks that screw into the boards and then I spray painted a dowel rod. So you, these are just her nylon uh, bows. I don't have all of her bows on here. Even after she grows out of these bows, I feel like I wanna keep them on there because it's kind of like a little keepsake of her being a little baby, but these turned out so cute. It even has a string already attached so that you can just nail it on the wall. If you don't want to use the string, then it has a little hook on the back. But I absolutely love this, and it turned out to be a little bit under $20. Um, maybe it was even $15. I can't really remember, but I'll show you in the video how to make it. So if you want to learn how to make this DIY bow holder, then keep on watching. The products that I got at Walmart um, to make this is this wooden frame and it has a string and the brand is called Jelly Bean and it was four or five dollars. I will link it in the description box. Um, I bought stencils. These were around three dollars and I was going to put her name. I bought this flower stencil as well this was a dollar i bought these nails um these nails were around two dollars and i bought a packet of dowel rods of all different sizes and this one was 97 cents all right and then i bought this light pink light pink paint called cameo pink and this was 50 cents so the first thing I'm gonna do is lay out my stencils and try to figure out the pattern that I want to paint. All right, this is the photo I found on Pinterest. This is kind of like my inspiration. Maybe I need to do bigger letters, I don't know.
All right, so here's what I have so far. I think it looks pretty good. Okay, the next step is to screw in some of these cup hooks. And I think I only need two. easier than okay way easier than I thought it was gonna be now I'm gonna do the other side okay now you take your dowel rod and I think I can fit the big one in, which is three eighths, and it should fit. There we go, in here. So I thought about spray painting it. I might spray paint it, but you take this off, loop your bows into it, and they hang. So cute, right? I just checked in my cabinet and I have pink spray paint. So I'm gonna go outside and spray paint my rod pink. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. This was a lot of fun for me to make. As always, I enjoy anything DIY, so if you have any ideas for me or requests for me to try out for you, leave them in the comments and I will try my best to learn how to make them myself at an affordable price. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. My handle is Abby underscore Thed and it is the easiest way to see what I'm doing on a daily basis. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next week.